Hello, welcome to Brown Dog Gadgets Live. I'm Amanda, the Educational Outreach Coordinator here at Brown Dog Gadgets. Behind the camera, I've got Pete. Me. Today we're going to be building a game spinner. I'm really excited about this one. It's one of our new projects that we have up on our website. But before we do that, if you have not followed us on our social media platforms, please do so. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, and YouTube. Also, this project, as well as all of our other projects, can be found at browndogadgets.com. Just a reminder, those templates are free, so you can print them off at your leisure. They're not behind a paywall. And if you have any questions or comments, anything like that, feel free to chat with us as we're streaming. There you go. Hey, Mike. Right. Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, happy belated happy birthday. birthday. Hey. All right. Let's see. Uh, right. <laughs> If you have any questions after our stream is over, feel free to email us at help at browndoggadgets.com. Oh, that's, uh, that's more of a it. clown. <laughs> you're, you're stacked there. There we go. I know. <laughs> you Wait, got distracted a, by Mike's hold on. birthday what yesterday. Do we got? How about? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, party noise. That's the one we want. Perfect. Okay. Okay, enough of that. Uh, All right. Let's build our game spinner. Okay. All right. Let's, let's switch to the overhead cam. Overhead. Sure. I'm pressing like every button we got. So we've made a game spinner that you can create and spin and take your turn. Yay. Yeah, that's right. You can also, and I failed slightly. Hello, Keisha. How are you today? Hey. All right. I failed slightly. I kind of forgot that's the slightly. very first page of our <laughs> template. What? So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But there is this version on okay. the template and a blank one that you can create oh. yeah. whatever numbers you want for whatever game it is. Or, like Pete suggested yesterday and I didn't think about until he said it, <laughs> you, nice. you could make a prize, prize wheel. wheel. Yeah. yeah. So we're actually going to use our game spinner to create a prize wheel today. Excellent. So... Yeah, I know, Mike, it's not it's just you. Yeah. Yay. I know. I'm very excited about this project, too, so wonderful. I mean, to be fair, it's always m more than Mike, but Mike's the only person who speaks. Mike's the only one that yeah. says anything. We have other people watching. But it's true. Yeah. So this is the second page of the template. The first page right. is around somewhere. <laughs> That's great. It's well, fine. You, you built the project. Whatever. But... Uh, so basically you cut out this rectangular portion here and your whole game spinner fits on there. I'll talk about these towards the end. So on that first page, it has the colored in version, it has the black and white version, it has an arrow and a spin button. Nice. That's what's on the first page. So like I said, we're going to create the prize wheel. The prize wheels are so much fun in the classroom, so I figured that was a great idea. Um, most of this project is made with double-sided foam tape. I am going to actually put the motor down today with hot glue. You can use double-sided foam tape instead. It is nice and easy. It holds well. Um, but I'm going to make this one super sturdy, so I'm going to use some hot glue. For this project... I, you know what? I hate to tell you my idea. I'm what? really tempted to like 3D print a little thing to hold the motor so you can remove it and reuse it. I mean, I'm tempted to do that. You could do that. It's a crazy idea. It it, it just might you know, work. Once you glue it down or stick it down, it can be a little hard to, if you want to be, reclaim it. It's true. Okay. But I want my prize wheel forever and ever. The, well, of course, yes. <laughs> So I'm going to use this little barrel motor that we use in our bristle bats, and I'm going to affix the bottom of it, right where those wires are, right down inside that square there. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to have strings all across this desk too. It's going to be wonderful. Now it doesn't truly matter which wire is on which side. The only thing that will change if you have your wires backwards from the diagram is the direction of the spin will change. So it will still work, um, but it'll spin in the opposite direction, which 
may matter I, for you. Well, I feel like on this side of the of the globe, it should go clockwise, and then like in Australia, anti-clockwise. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it works that way. It could. It could. On the it absolutely could. Maybe we should go to Australia. That's and how it out. works with water in the drain, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Mike knows. Maybe Mike probably does know. Yeah, he can look it up for us. <laughs> All right, so I've got my motor hot glued down to the template. Now I'm going to go ahead and build the circuit. I'm using maker tape, just like we do with all of our other projects. I'm going to put the maker tape right on top of that LED wire. Really make a nice, strong connection there. I know, it's tiny. It's, it's adorable, Mike. It's a small one. Look at that. Yeah. But it's going to be all we need for this project. Now... If you've never used Maker Tape before, Maker Tape is a nylon conductive tape. It is the far superior cousin to copper foil tape. Copper foil tape tears really easily. It's not uh, very kid friendly. This stuff is great. So I'm actually going to use a piece of Maker Tape and roll it up into what we call our tape loop. So it's got the sticky side out, just like you would the back of a poster. And I'll put that right at the end of this pathway here. And that is what's going to hold our battery in place. Copper tape also, it tastes terrible. Mm -hmm. If you've ever tried eating it, it's not good. Weird. Ooh, Mike's going to find out for us All right. this whole water thing. I like it, Mike. Wonderful. All right, now I'm going to actually make the pathway that's going to come to our switch here. So same thing, I'm going to tape this motor down with some maker tape. But pathway D and F are not going to come in contact. There is going to be a built-in gap there. So we'll build a switch so we can actually control it because it is not a prize wheel or a game spinner if it doesn't actually stop. <laughs> be a good joke one like let's see what happens april fools you have to wait for the battery to die to die or, or it stops <laughs> all right i'm gonna take path e you'll also notice that there is a gap here between path d and path e please make sure to note that gap the whole time um, if you have it connect you won't be able to turn it off mind the gap mind the gap say, uh, across the pond there you go all right. And honestly, the tape paths on this part of it are really fast. Yeah. We've already got those in place. We're good to go. Now, to bridge this gap, we're going to use our little spin button. So we're going to put some maker tape on the back of it going vertically. So that way, it will come in contact with this and bridge that gap when we push it down. Did you get that from the magazine? The spin button? The wow. spin magazine. Wow. Spin magazine? No, anybody? No, I do not. Mike, you're old. You remember Spin Magazine? <laughs> I feel like everything you remember, Pete, Mike also remembers. Yeah, You're kindred right. spirits. Well, they're still around. Kindred spirits. It started in 1985. Okay. I'm going to actually put two pieces of tape there, and I'm going pretty much from the top to the bottom of the button. I just don't want it to be too short and then it doesn't actually bridge that gap. Yeah. So first, before I do anything else, I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to put this in place and press down. And that bad boy is powerful. It works. But I also don't want to tape it straight down to no. the game board or the, the card stock here because then it will just bridge the gap most of the time and I won't have control. So I'm going to use a thinner double-sided foam tape. And I'm going to put a little piece on each end of it so it just kind of sticks up a little bit. Not a really, it's not the thick stuff. I could, but then you'd really have to push down harder to make it engage, which would probably be fine as well. <laughs> well I, mean, I guess that's true. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, I started my career in print magazines. So. Yeah, I mean, the fact Fun that you started your career in it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Says a lot there, Pete. Yeah, and I've been working for uh, 52 years, so let's see how old I am now. Yeah. 
All right, so I've got my spin button with the double-sided foam tape. Nice. I'll put it right in place over our rectangle there. So it's got just a little bit of height to it. Perfect. Which is keeping that gap there so that when I push down, it spins. We call that travel in the um, button industry. So oh. how, how far the it has to travel to make contact. Button All right. Travel, button travel distance. I like it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use a thicker double-sided foam tape for these four rectangle or for these four squares here, because the battery does have some height to it. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that I've got enough lift for my prize wheel so it doesn't kind of bend around the battery. And I probably don't even need this much foam tape, but... Yeah, the tape looks pretty much about the height of the battery, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty perfect. It's good. And they're not, you know, measured out perfectly for where they need to be. But. Mike's asking about the motor. Those are, uh, yeah, remember, if Mike's old, he'll remember pagers, or <laughs> what else do they call them? Uh, beepers, no, pagers, I guess. Uh, this bzz, little I thing you wear on your belt and they yeah. would buzz. Um, yeah, vibration motor, or early cell phones had these for the vibration mode, but I think they have even tinier motors now. So a little offset yeah. weight on the top, but for our purposes here, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So all I need to do, so I when I cut this out, I also cut out the circle right in the middle. So then all I'll do is put that motor right through the center. And I kind of want to decide where I want it because this won't move. Right. There we go. Perfect. Now all I need is to put that arrow right on top of the top of the motor. What's that part called again? Spindle. It's, a spindle. Um, it's an offset weight. Oh, the offset I weight. Mean, okay. Um, it's attached to the shaft. It's just a weight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the tricky part. If I'm using hot glue, I need to make sure that the hot glue only touches that offset weight, not the shaft. If it gets on both, it's just gonna hold it in place and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put it on here first. On the back of my arrow. I'll put my arrow right on top. Let it dry for a moment. There we go, and then we spin. And I get a snack, yay! I think I have an orange in my lunchbox, so that's I've the snack I get today. I've got an apple if you want to trade. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I get to uh, use the teacher's chair. What, what would you use it for? To sit on in class instead of the hard student chairs. What does the teacher sit on? They don't, oh, no. or in a student chair. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great reward. Stand. You literally have yeah. to pay nothing for it. <laughs> yeah, uh, there we go. So yeah. um, I love the fact that it's got a blank wheel so you can create your own, whether it is a prize wheel, whether you're deciding the different numbers. Um, it's a really fun one. So we also mentioned at the beginning that there were these little people over here. So at the end, if you do want to use it for a board game, you can create your own little people, right? I like that you fixed it, Mike. Mike wanted to correct it. I was, <laughs> I was concerned, Mike. I was concerned. I was like, wow. We appreciate right. that. <laughs> so you can color the little people in and yeah. cut them out. So I've got a little one right here. My daughter helped me pick out the colors. We decided <laughs> solid colors, kind of like Candyland, how they're That's all a just sweet a different outfit. color. I mean, look at those gray pants and oh, orange matching. Solid. That's beautiful. Right? And then take a binder clip, clip it on the bottom. I like to flip the back side up to give it a little bit more stability. I did also flip the front up, but Pete didn't like that. <laughs> so. I like to remove those. You can remove it. Yeah. So then you've got your little characters that you can move around your game board instead of whatever the game came with, or if you're having students actually create their own game, then you've got some characters to play with. Looks like he's standing in a, a bin, like a black bin or something. Yep, maybe he is. <laughs> maybe he is. Bibby worked very hard at picking out colors for me for these. 
We had to decide which colors went together. Wow. I will be honest. Yeah, we were over. going to do orange and okay. blue pants. Yeah. And then I told her that that was the Chicago Bears yeah. colors. Does she even know what that is? Not I don't really. Even know what that is. But then we decided <laughs> that we would go Brewers colors with the blue instead. You know. Oh. Yeah. So that is one of my favorite projects that I've made recently, That's pretty awesome. which is our game spinner. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. There we go. Lots of ways that kids can get creative with it. I did also think it would be cool if like you made a game board and then at the end had a micro bit set up that was connected to some tape pads and you put some tape on here uh, and like yeah. when you win you put your little character on there and it yeah. plays a song. I the, didn't get that far. The blue and green one makes me think it should be like 75% blue and then 25% green and you could see where you land on the globe if you land in water or on the land. I like it. And yeah. for the template, the lines are on it, but yeah. you can just, they could draw new lines and make a really skinny, hmm. like, yeah. go to jail. I don't know. <laughs> as long as that arrow points to it, I guess. Yep, you know. absolutely. So lots of ways that they can adjust their cool. game board spinner. Excellent. Yeah. I love this one. It That's makes me happy. One. I also get yeah. some candy now. Do you have any candy? Um, yeah. And a three. I, I, I can probably print you a three and I can see if I got some candy. Perfect. Wonderful. I know I printed you like a four earlier at one point. That's Maybe true. Maybe a two. I yep. I think it was a two. <laughs> Maybe a four also. I don't know. Yeah. Those were cookie cutters. Yes, it's true. Awesome. That is all we've got today for our project. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed because I definitely <laughs> That's enjoyed enough. It. I know. It's a good one. <laughs> Uh, if you have not followed us on our social media platforms yet, please do so. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, and YouTube. Also, uh, the templates for these that you can print off for free are at browndoggadgets.com. So you can make your own. Oh, one thing I did not say, I would absolutely print on a heavier cardstock. Oh, yeah. This yeah, bad boy yeah. is not going to stand up to printer paper. Very deep. Are you going to make... Okay. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you were going to make a 3D uh, printed version of the game spinner. I, you Mike. know, a, a friend of mine actually did print a, like a flexi Hershey bar in oh. a filament. That like I brought right. that in. It was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. um, also, if you have any questions after this, feel free to email us at help at browndoggadgets.com. Uh, tomorrow, we will be doing our Microbit University. Yeah. And working with the, the two buttons on the front of the micro bit. Yeah. Keisha, thanks for joining us. Mike, thanks for joining us. And anyone else that's watching, thank you so much for joining us. We hope we'll see you next time. Have a good one. All right. Thanks for watching. Please visit browndoggadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at browndoggadgets. We'll see you next time.